Hey y'all. So just a brief video because it is 1210 and I have things to do. Um, <laughs> I'm going to quick, quick, yeah, keep this quick as possible. I haven't been on YouTube for a while. It's been forever. I haven't done any video about my weight loss or weight gain or gym or anything in a long time. But I made a new account with um, Instagram to basically follow people and people follow me in the same scenario or you know health wise gym getting healthy all that stuff um so we could keep each other accountable a lot of people do that i had people who does that in my um personal instagram account that i put everything on it but i wanted one that was just for this for working out for getting healthier since my lowest weight ever um after vertical sleeve gastrectomy i've went down to 230 ish almost 225 and i'm up to 265 to 270 now so i've gained quite an amount um a lot of people assume even one of my doctors which gets me pissed off um my back doctor automatically assumes i'm out eating like three big macs per meal or as a snack like four times a day i swear they assume that i'm overeating which is not the case here i have pcos so that kicks my butt and um 2014 I had back surgery which left me on bed rest for six months. I gained 10 pounds from that um, And it was around the holidays too because I got my surgery back in November 2014. So yeah holiday and birthdays so I gained like 10 pounds from then ever since then I've just been kind of creeping up No matter what I do and I became a vegetarian back in May 2016 so mostly vegan i barely ate any dairy products to begin with um only mostly when i went out to eat very rarely inside or order out something like that um other than that i pretty much ate vegan at home when i controlled it at least um i was saying i'm a lot i don't know why anyways well and then a year after that on may to this year 2017 i went completely vegan um mostly plant-based um, I do eat processed food. That's mostly my dinner. Not every single day, but for the most part, it is my dinner. Um, mostly because I have another person who is vegetarian and it's convenient. Uh, it does come down to convenient and also money-wise. I like salads. I always pitch, let's have a salad for dinner. And he's like, eh, not so much. <laughs> Sometimes he says yes, but most of the time it's like, eh, no. So I just, you know, eat what we eat for the most part instead of buying two different meals every single night. Otherwise, I'd probably just be eating my bunny food constantly. Um, so, yeah. Trying to keep this up. Three minutes, not that bad so far. Hmm. So, like I said, I weigh about 265 to 270 now. It fluctuates a lot. Um, and I'm going back to the gym. It was a little bit more complicated than I was before. Um, I always had back problems, so hence the surgery, stuff like that. But the surgery helped with the pain and removed what was hurting me but since they said I was young when I had the surgery they said I should be healed perfectly fine and that was not the case so right now I'm wearing two back brace so I feel like I have a corset on <laughs> actually I am going to buy a couple of um, underbust corsets because it's just probably easier to wear than these two brace um, it's to help me walk straight ish I'm still not straight up but I'm like 98% walking straight. I still limp and all that stuff and I still tilt over to the left. But without it, I, I'm like a teapot being poured out, like pour out, like seriously. I'm like doing a little kid's dance, you know, tip me over, pour me out. Mm. That's how I walk. I, I started looking like Eeyore after a while because <laughs> um, my back cannot support me, my upper body. So yeah. So losing weight will help with that. And I'm just hoping to go back on beast mode like I was before. I pretty much stopped going to the gym because my episodes started getting bad with dystonia, um, seizures and stuff like that, and me going by myself, and then, and on top of that, nobody knew what was happening when something happened, so it was, like, dangerous at the same time. I have a medical brace now. Um, I got that from Road ID, and not the band, the band I got from Michaels. The band it came with, it broke after about a month and a half um it just 
stretched out too much the band that was holding the plate um, from being twisted and pulled and whatnot it just broke one day so I just picked this up at Michael's and it works perfectly fine and it's secure and, and has no problem whatsoever sometimes I forget it's on and sleep with it and I wake up with like marks on me but yeah I wear this and this has all my information and um it has a pin number for ambulance like the EMTs to get into the account and see my medical history and what's wrong with me and they know exactly what to do so that's that helps and um gives me a sense of security at the same time because i'm not rushing the ambulance i'm not asking a million questions that i can't answer i'm not giving like improper treatment and stuff like that everything's good uh and also gives instruction for everybody else who's not an emt to do not touch me so when i have my seizure um so this gives me a sense of security, which is helping me go back to the gym now. And I wanted to go back to gym a bit in a while, but I've been sick and dealing with the back issue and all this stuff. But now I want to get back into beast mode. And my Instagram, I'm hoping that will help me and people keep me accountable and I keep them accountable. I do it already with my regular, um, my personal Instagram, like I mentioned. So I'm hoping that my new one for just the health stuff with will do the same for me so that is the plan um if y'all want to follow me on instagram i'll put the link below and see where it goes from there so um as far as my diet goes i'm not changing it i pretty much plant-based i don't drink anything weird i don't drink anything bad right now i have um before i go in this is just a green tea no sugar um does have stevia though because i need something sweet in it and a bunch of lime so um and this is pretty much why i mostly drink like these i drink water and tea that's pretty much thing. occasionally when i feel that my stomach needs it i have ginger ale so sue me but that's occasionally um that's not every day or every week or anything like that so as far as vertical seed gastrectomy go it's been a while so like 13 so four years i'm four years out my stomach still works i hear people that they completely stretch out to back to a normal size stomach i don't feel that it's normal i got checked in this past april and they told me it's still small um they don't think it's my diet that's making me weight gain weight, so which is why I see other specialists. Everybody just ruled out that it's PCOS, PCOS. So I have to go back to be small to get it down, which means I have to work out two to four hours a day, which means it's going to take a toll on my body between my back and dystonia. It's going to basically have me work out two to four hours a day plus sleep, like probably 15 to 16 hours a day because I'm going to need naps in between. That's the only way for me to get by. Um... Most people think, oh, because you could work out, you could do this, you could do that. Like, no, I have to pick and choose what I can and cannot do. If I was, like, for instance, in the beginning of the month, I have to do shopping, I can't work out for two to four hours. I could work out maybe for a half an hour, 45 minutes, and do shopping. Or if laundry day, maybe no workout at all, I have to pick and choose what I could do. People automatically assume, especially the, the smart-ass people who just has to be so negative and... Uh, so rude and not understand instead of asking questions they just automatically assume oh you could work out that means you could go to work and find a job full time and make enough money to support yourself and do this and do that dudes and do that seriously I, I can't I can't um it's not that I don't want to work I just I can't <laughs> between having seizures which makes me tired it makes me exhausted after I could just wake up have a seizure and I'm done for the day I'm done I am exhausted, I'm in pain, I'm aching all over like I just like ran down a hill or something and tumbled over a couple of steps, I don't know, it's, it's tiring. Um, so this is going to be my life for a while hopefully, I'm rambling at this point and I have to go into the gym, it's been 10 minutes and it was, yeah, yeah, about to be 10 minutes, so um, yeah, slap me if I don't go to the gym, virtually. Don't call it to me and really slap me because I won't like it. Hmm. No, no. Mm -mm. 
I won't. So virtual slappy. You can slap me in, um, using words, symbols, go ahead, emojis, whatever. But don't come up to me and slap me in real life. <laughs> so, um, yeah. And another thing I have a problem with with social media in general. If you have something to say to me that is against my opinion or my views or whatever, whether it's the health, the workout, even the veganism, because I do get this a lot, be nice about it. Everybody's entitled to an opinion. So are you. So am I. If you're completely on the opposite end of my opinion, that is perfectly fine. Just be polite and nice and kind about it when you respond. Don't be such an ass. I had people who commented on the stupidest thing and so rude and put me down for nothing um, on Facebook for the stupidest thing ever. I commented on a, a local bakery um, saying that they're fantastic, they're great, they're delicious, it's a vegan bakery. Um, Misfits, go visit it, I swear to you, it is delicious. Um, the only problem I have, and it's, it's my problem, it might be other people's problem too, but it's my problem. Their price is a little too expensive per donut, but that's me, okay? That's me. But I have nothing against them whatsoever. I still go there. I went there yesterday and got me a donut. Like, got me a donut for me, for the hubby. I, I, I got donuts. I have no problem going to get donuts. I have no problem paying the $3 for the donut. It is freakishly delicious. Is it worth it? In a way, yes, because it is delicious and it's rare to get donuts around here. Would I buy it every day? No, because I can't afford $3 every day for a donut. Not only money-wise, but health-wise too, but still it's just the money-wise part. I don't really look at the health-wise part. So, yeah, like people backlash me because of that. I rave about the place. It's delicious. The owner is very sweet. You know, I love the place. I do. And I just have that one little problem and people backlash at me. Another problem people have with me is... I post a picture of a butter, a vegan butter from I Can't Believe It's Not Butter and it's I Can't Believe It's Vegan and it has palm oil. Now I'm starting to learn about the side effect of palm oil between you know the environment part aspect of it. I get it's bad for the environment and I'm not vegan and I'm, I'm gonna piss people off right I'm not vegan for ethical reason I'm vegan for dietary reason. I care for animals granted but I also have to live. I have to be able to eat. If I go off and buy vegan butter for six, seven dollars for a small tub, which is nasty, I probably won't even use it because I don't like the taste of it. I'm sorry, I don't. So when I found that I can't believe it's not butter makes a vegan one now, I went crazy and I bought one and it tastes amazing. I'm sorry, it does taste really good. People might hate me for it. I don't care. I have to pick and choose my battles. I'm not eating animals. I'm not eating dairy products. I'm not eating eggs or anything like that. I'm not eating anything that comes from an animal itself. So give me credit for that. Don't put me down because I'm having palm oil. I know it's bad, but it's baby steps. I can't afford to go buy the expensive one that I don't like. I really can't afford to buy that plus everything else I have to buy. You got to pick and choose your battle. So, like I said before, that if you have something that's against me, whether it's my lifestyle, my views, my eating habits, my opinions, you have the, the right to tell me that you're against it. But don't be an ass. This video is going longer than I wanted to. <laughs> um, so, it was a lot of rambling because I have a script like most people do. I just parked here and I started to talk. So that is that. I am done. I have to go in. So sayonara. <laughs> Bye. Once I find this button.